featured some high octane fighting games, including quick decision making being a requirement. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how the defense works on the side of Nitro against Zayn. Yeah, let's see it. I think what was working out so well against me again on Zane's side, right? We were talking about it a little bit during the break, is that we just weren't able to get these strong openings, these uh, knockdown Oki setups for me again side, right? It was kind of scrambling against Grimnir in neutral, where maybe you're a little bit less familiar with what his options are, what his threat right. range is. I wonder if Nitro is a little bit more studied in this matchup. Again, one of these underrepresented characters, I wonder who he could have gotten practice on going into this next match. Yeah, this is going to be quite an interesting round start we saw drill as a round start we might see that again because as you can see it goes right through both interactions here but backdash is the round start for zane to set up seals immediately yo we gotta have a block button here you you gotta block we've done like all four grimnir specials meanwhile nitro has just been content to walk back and down back and wait it out just try and get a read on zane yes it's still first to two yes you're gambling with your hp to get this data but trying to slow down the pace gets caught up with the five h yeah five h has such a long reach and a very deceptively fast startup there i mean all things considered we're already killing here don't you worry about it. Look, it was a 5-inch start. What'd you expect? All right, yeah. I shouldn't have been surprised on that one. Still the 100 meter behind it and almost yeah. perfect. Coming out from Zane. I don't know. This could look similar to the previous set against me again, but Nitro, how are we going to change it up? Going into round two, play a little more aggressive Ooh. with a death turn, but nothing found. Yeah, unfortunately, a little bit too far away. The jump and worked out tremendously Ooh. there for Zane. Good air-to-air -air interaction from Nitro, that is a great answer to prevent Zane from utilizing those seals. Try to Ooh. spot dodge the guard cancel. Nice timing there from Zane, though. Yeah, that's funny. We tried to go Ooh. for two spot dodges to bait up the early brave cancel, but we waited for the third. The ultimate Psycho Crusher set the seals behind it, too. And Zane about to have another 50 meter after this next block string. Looking in Zane Ooh. in the membrane right now, but we got scooped up. That is unfortunate right there because we were running the offense. We're going to have to guard cancel right out here. About to hit SBA range. Might not even need it because the lingering threat Ooh. calls out the SSBA. Yeah, this is what we saw over in the winner's side too, right? Nitro being a little bit too greedy with looking for these SSBA parries and getting baited out by the opponent. No PP to your name, so this is fortune. Does so much stalled up in the skies. That's a combo for Nitro to tie up the rounds. I love that we committed to the parry DP. Like, yep. both times said, you know what? No, I'm not dealing with any of this aggression. Let's just go for EX back to back. There was three parry attempts there, which is wild <laughs> for Nitro, and it paid off. Sometimes you just gotta be a little bit greedy with trying to escape the pressure. Send out the JU. Maybe try and buy a little bit of tempo back with that unsummon. Those seals right on top. Ooh, okay. 5-H right there, but Death still goes down. Yeah, that was tricky. The reverse C formation to try and bait out the air to air JL that we saw earlier. There we go. Drill. Nice pickup. Ooh, take to the sky. I Let's love. see. No, oh, the walkout puts you in the corner. But Nitro, not ready to dodge, not ready to challenge on the raging strike. Zane just keeping you on your toes. Nice deep cross up committed to a DP from Nitro. We can finish this up. Ooh. Finishes it up and seals it out. That's game number one for Zane. Very clean pickup, and now we're changing traje trajectory a little bit here. Yeah. Even delaying our flight timing off of Gale Dash as well to try to call out those anti-airs. Yeah. Now that we know that Nitro is ready to react to some of these air interactions, we start to slow things down to make other openings possible. Yep, I like the deep run in. Oh, Delay no. on the 5L to try and bait out a fuzzy tech here, but no, we're still getting caught up on the death grips. Yeah. I mean, right. we're just outside of the range of that 5S right there, and unfortunately was able to uh, let go of block and still get called out. That's where the snowball effect started to build up there against Zane. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to keep it simple. The run-up delay 5L just to make them super uncomfy looking for these fuzzy techs, looking right. for these fuzzy mashes. Backs off again. EX, Tornado setup. Going for the gold, sending out the double EX for the round start. Zane just looking to slowly Ooh. push Nitro into the corner, but a little bit too far for the confirm off of the Psycho Crusher. Wasn't ready to react in time on the whip, but still trying to take your turn back. And now you're getting 40% for it. All right, guy is close heavy. Ooh. Thought we would bait out the same side, but ended up crossing under with a 6-6-M, a clean pickup for Nitro. This is an entirely different momentum that we've seen in that first game. Ah, nice challenge out of the 5L. Spot dodge the EX turn, but still able to challenge with triple attack finish. 
Damn, tried to mash after the air dash. There was no other seal to try and threaten with that dash. So interesting choice from Zane to try and rebuy your turn, even though you're minus there off of the dash. So one a piece here down to the loser side. Absolutely. I mean, still remaining strong is Nitro. Not going to be swayed right now. And does have that ominous turn once again. A nice little spot dodge from Zane though to relieve some of that pressure. Yo, where are you going? No escape. I love the movement. As you're up against the corner now, I was going to say the ominous turn and all the follow-ups really consumed a lot of these stocks from Nitro so early into the round. And look at how much health Zane still has with only six stock le stocks left for Nitro. Yes, oh, indeed. but the dash. Oh my gosh. These Abares from Nitro have been insane, but we still have three stocks left. Raging Chain, Death may be down, but that doesn't mean we can stop dealing damage. That was a smart adjustment on the fly from Nitro. I wonder if he went for JH instead for the safe jump rather than threatening the JU2M safe jump, Ooh. knowing that Zane was looking for the UDP. And now we're looking at the reverse sweep potentially for Nitro. Yeah, it's an interesting setup right now. Nitro looking very calm, cool, and collected. Yep. And looking pretty strong as we go into this game three. All right, hit it with the jump back. Just a little float action. Runs right into the seals and the tornado. Nice little side swap right there. Got our full screen distance. Jump you and does a quick recall to bring death to safety. A little 5H five edge, five edge looking for the pirouettes, but J2U so tricky with the air trajectories. Yes. Finds the 5H. Jump you, nice. And resets for throw. I mean, life lead is substantial for Zane right now, so you can still try to whittle away. Nice low into the pickup from near. Okay. Hit on the other side with the cross-up button. Barely any health, or a decent amount of health for both sides, but still one touch. If we can find the SBA, but no, Zane gets caught out on the other side post air dash. There we go, there we go. Good spend on SBA. Tremendous lead. Jump you to keep that pressure going and give yourself a little bit of safe distance there as near. <laughs> Clash, nice tech. Okay, immediately 5L right into the grab. Another throw tech brings us back out to the neutral. 40 seconds left on the Ooh. clock. Zane with one HP and a dream, but the dream is stopped by death. The death turn seals it 2-1 for Nitro. That was so much forward thinking there from Nitro, right? That had to be so preemptive because we knew that the seal was right above your head. Yep. So we knew that Zane was probably going to try to utilize that for a quick overhead, a quick little attempt to try to call out uh, Nitro's anti-air attempt yes. potentially. And 